Hello, and welcome everyone to the Art Activity of the Month, um, hosted by Usera. My name is Gilberto, and I'm the Usera web editor. This is Conversations with an Artist, where you will learn about the work that artists in our community are doing. Today, we are with Carmen Mardones, who will be sharing painting with threads. So let me share a little bit about Carmen. Car Carmen is a Chilean textile artist living here in Los Angeles since 2017. Her artwork seeks to radically reimagine intimate spaces of memory, dream, and discovery, exploring ways of deconstructing traditional embroidery by combining oversized formats, textile sculptures, and the recovery of textile waste. Carmen has studied history, art, and community psychology. Her creations have been included in jury exhibits and the Bria Gallery, South LA Contemporary Gallery, the Museum of Latin American Art, um, and those are just a few among others. And her work has been featured on several online and printed outlets, uh, most recently in the Fem Handbook and Shout Out LA. Uh, if you have a chance, I invite you to visit her website. Um, she has really interesting and, and amazing work. Um, but with that, I'll let her take it away. So thank you, Carmen. Awesome. Hello, everyone. I'm Carmen. I moved to UCLA Family Village in 2017 when my husband started a PhD at UCLA. We moved here with a newborn. A couple of months before we moved, I decided that I wanted to become an artist. So once we installed here, installed here, I started working really hard to create art pieces and to start showing uh, my art in the US and specifically in, in Los Angeles. One of the important things that I do is that I create art with my child around. If you visit my, my Instagram account, who is at Desbordado, you can see that I am always creating with my kid around that because he was too young when we moved here so he he can he didn't go to a daycare and then become because covid he he stayed with us at, at home so it's been a really challenging three last years creating art being trying to be competitive and professional at the same time being a mom a present mom and <laughs> I don't know, working in both sides at the same time. Um, as, uh, adding uh, more info, uh, I create at home. So now I'm in my apartment, two bedroom, two bathroom. <laughs> and it's here where I create art. So I have to manage the space thing, the wall thing, the storage. Uh, it, it issues, but I create art here. So for me, it's, it's, it's a real, I'm, I'm saying that here because I don't know, I love the idea that I'm creating in the community, surrounded by the community, uh, at the same time that I'm spending uh, time at the playground with my kids and my neighbors. I'm also spending a few hours per day, like creating art here. Um, and also I using um, materials that the community provides me. Uh, when, uh, last year when the COVID started, I, because I was running out of fabric who I use for my embroideries. So I decided to start embroidering on pillows because I had one at home and then I really liked the results. So, I, I asked to the community to if they were moving out or they were like planning to change their pillows or their sheets to please donate to me. So a lot of my pieces that I uh, convert in art were before sheets and pillows for my neighbors. And I really, really like that. Also, uh, 
some of the pieces has my neighbor's name, actually. <laughs> and yeah, it's been, I don't know, it's, I, it's, it was another way during the COVID time to share, I don't know, I don't know if this time, the space, whatever with the community i was feeling that they were here with me even though we I, we were like locked down at home so yeah mm -hmm. um why do you create this type of art and why are you drawn drawn to this subject because because i think it's really interesting well when i realized that i was pregnant it was an unexpected pregnancy <laughs> Because we were planning to move here, two of, of us, young and happy couple, and I was not clear what 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 I will do in, in Los Angeles, but a baby was not in my plans. Um, so when I realized that I was pregnant, that we were moving with a baby, a newborn actually, um, that means that I will be not able to probably work as much as I was planning in Los Angeles and everything. And then it was when I decided to become an artist. Okay, this uh, embroidery thing that I've, uh, before that was just a hobby, I'm gonna turn it in my professional development. And um, art, uh, turns into the way that I can like, I don't know, express myself. Um, because I moved to a new country, new culture, new language, with a new baby that it was, <laughs> yeah, a completely new thing. So uh, the, the, the embroidery thing, the, the, the chance to express myself through colors, through uh, textures. Uh, it was like the way that I express myself. Uh, so is, mm, if, if you see my website and probably you can see uh, check it better in my Instagram, you're gonna see that at the beginning when I moved here with, a, with Juan as a newborn, my embroideries were like really uh, small, um, really like more more traditional uh, embroidery than are now but so with the when the times was like moving i when i was like being challenged as a mom um feeling alone here with no friends and whatever uh, the embroideries uh, start turning like more intense a way to express myself like it was more a necessity so the colors the the long of the stitches um the size of the embroideries start like uh, growing and growing and now is my embroideries are as big as my living room wall is so around uh, a king size bed sheet. So for me, it's like the way that I express myself like emotionally, like how I feel. And because of course, when you have a kid, you can be like a roller coaster emotionally. You need to be like, um, <laughs> yeah, like I don't know if it's the way the the word relaxed, but you 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 have to have more control uh, for yourself um, emotionally, but also physically. It's really intense to become parents. So embroidery is is physically like a really a challenging for me now, but also like a way that I can express because. When I'm embroidery bed sheets, it's like super long stitches and whatever. But also, I'm I feel that I'm creating like uh, some spaces, universes in my in my embroideries that you can. I I'm catching the attention of the uh, people who is looking at them and what is happening i think that is like the people want to go inside they want to touch what i'm creating and also then after they come closer they want to go back and observe the whole piece 
those effects in what my pieces are creating with the uh, people is, I think that is who I'm experiencing here my my life and my motherhood. Um, yeah, so you are not gonna find in my art a person, people or landscape, uh, but you are gonna find, I, I think that a lot of emotions there and textures and colors who evoke like, yeah, I think that emotions and who I'm feeling and who I'm living. Uh, my motherhood in UCLA village with all that that it means. Yeah, that's, that's really interesting. And I just want to comment that um, like you, you touched on how your art has progressed and has evolved since you started. Um, then other like these huge pieces that like you really have to step back and and, and visualize and view. Um, do you feel that you've grown as an artist as a result of your art? Like, have you grown emotionally, um, like physically, mentally, uh, spiritually? Like, has your art taken you to a, a different level that um, that probably wouldn't be possible? Yeah, definitely. I think that when I decided to become an artist, I was not sure how hard it will be like to become one. Because yeah, if you think like Los Angeles is a perfect uh, city to be an artist and it is, but it's also this, the, the city in the US and probably in the world who has more artists per capita. So it's not that easy to become an artist here. It's a lot of competition. It's, it, there's a lot of galleries, but it's also a lot of artists trying to be an artist. So if you want to be one here, you have to, to work really, really hard. And yeah, the beginning, Juan was a newborn. So it was like, he, he, he needs a lot of attention now also because I, he's a three and a half and he's driving me crazy. But when I realized that I was pregnant, I was super sure that I didn't want to be just a mom. So when I decided to be an artist, it was like, this is my, it's not my plan B because it's happening at the same time, but it's like, I'm working as hard to be a mom as to be an artist. So my kid knows that I'm an artist and I need to spend a couple of hours per day Per day working in my things because I work when he's he's awake because if you live <laughs> in these apartments you know that the light in the living room is really bad and even if you install some lights it's not enough when you are working with color so I need to work during the day so he's with me messing with my threads um and during the weekends, we go to our shows, uh, to, to my shows, and also other artist shows because you need to be in the artist network if you want to become an artist. So it's, it's been challenging as for me, for my kids, for, for our family. Uh, but I think that is start having like results, good results. And I'm definitely amazed as who I'm being growing the last years with my art. Yeah, when I started, when we moved here, doing the small things, I I didn't have in my mind at, at all, like the big pieces that I'm creating now, the big sculptures uh, that I'm creating. Um, and yeah, I think that that's great, like to um, check uh, your, the story behind you and see how how much you are developing your art even though it's being like a really tough four years yeah um, can you going back to your art can you touch a little bit on the materials that you use why you chose them yeah and maybe share a little bit of like the your process like how long do you spend um from the time you you conceptualize to the time that you actually create a piece. Yeah. 
Well, uh, for the last half year and a half, I'm been working with uh, bed sheets and discarded bed sheets and pillows. I have let give me one second. Uh, I created this piece last year at the we can say at the beginning of COVID. This is a pillowcase that I that I cut it and open it. And these are where embroidery and sewing threads that I'm using. Um, I usually don't plan the, don't sketch the pieces before I start working. Probably because the same reason that I am having my kid around, uh, my art process is really in, in tweet tweet, in tweet tweet. Yeah, that I'm. I just start creating. I, I choose like the pillow uh, or the sheet that I'm gonna start working, and then, uh, by taste, I decide like the colors that I'm gonna use. Use uh, sometimes I'm. I pick a, um, a skyscape picture from Instagram that I'm saving. I don't know like. Uh, sunset, uh, storm, whatever. So that pictures help me to choose the colors that I'm gonna use in my in my pieces. In other ways, like the one that I just showed uh, show you, it was like, oh, pink probably is gonna good look in look good in this uh, pattern sheet, and I just start working, and then uh, it flows. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, is that. And now I'm creating a little bit more complicated pieces. I just finished this one. It's hard to show it here, but these are pillows, uh, oh, discarded pillows and uh, sheets that my neighbors here uh, donate me before they move back to Indonesia. And I embroidery in the sheets first and then I started, then I stretched the pillows in the way in the way that I like, and then I cover the pillow with the, the sheets and I create a, a sculpture that usually I don't know how it's gonna look before it end, is, is done. So yeah, as you, it's, I, I'm creating things. I, I don't sketching before, um, I, I'm trusting a lot in what I know, what I, who I'm feeling, and yeah, just creating. Some pieces are amazing and others are not that good, but I don't have a lot of time, so I have to work smart. And I think that this is the best way that I can be really productive, um, yeah, with a kid around. Yeah, thank you for sharing. And I can see how the creative process itself can be like an art form. You know, there's no, there's no like steps that you have to follow. It's just all intuition and inspiration. And a lot of it is just like from your background, like your surroundings. Yeah, um, I think that it depends a lot of the artists, honestly. I mm -hmm. know some of my friends are really organized and they're amazing. They have some schedules and they sketch before. And I'm like, oh, I wish I can do that. <laughs> they Photoshop the pieces before so they know who are they gonna look even before they created them. Hi, Carmen. Hey, uh, <laughs> uh, I know your, your, um, your work, I have seen some of your ex uh, exhibition here in LA. They are amazing and they are very different. The, the different series you had, I remember the one with the lemon bags at the beginning and now in the pandemic, the, um, um, with some, some of the pillows already finished um, and all together they have like a real amazing effect um, my question is about that are, are, are you planning like work like a series uh, like series um, and hold together like this um, many pieces that make a, a, a big uh, artwork or uh, how, how is that that process because 
when, when you see all the pieces together, it's um, very different. And also, uh, everyone is, uh, you can choose your favorite, you know? It's mm -hmm. like, I like this and I won't just have this for myself. But when you see them all together, they also have like a, uh, a concept. Yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm, well, I'm start, I'm still like looking for my, the way that I want to create and to produce art because I don't know if you check some artists, they, some have like, they paint uh, people portraits for 10 years and it's, you can see like super um I don't know you can like see here here's our story like super fluid and others are like changing here are like super fast so it's hard to uh, follow their path I'm I think that I'm kind of the, in the middle but yeah I'm changing really really fast the the my I don't, I don't know if this is my style because I think that uh, you can recognize my work even like in the in the lemon bags, you can like recognize the way that I stitch, the use of the colors, but it's definitely like really different as the uh, pillows or the bed sheets. Um, I don't know if it's that because I'm, I'm giving to my life more emotion if I'm challenging me like faster. So I'm getting, okay, I'm bored with the lemon spark. So then I change to bed sheets and then to pillows because I, as an embroidery artist, as a, as a textile artist, I think that I work fast. Sometimes like the embroideries can take like a lot of hours and, Mine take a lot of hours, but I think that because my style, I can produce like a lot. So in a couple of months, I can have like 20 pillows and then it's like, okay, I'm done with the pillows. Let's start with another thing because yeah, I, I don't want to make like 100, but I, uh, I always that I start with some like exploring new ways with the pillows, with the lemon bags. Now with this like mix of uh, pillows and sheets, I try to not create just one because you need to, I don't know, I need to explore to, to be more like, to see how creative can I be with, the, with that technique. And also like if it's, it's worth it or not, I mean like, it is good, it's not good. Maybe if it's just one, it's, it's hard to, to know if it's, I don't know, probably the first one is not gonna be as good as the third or fourth or fifth one. Um, so yeah, that's a reason that I'm like improving myself in, in the, at the same time that I'm creating, but also because I'm always trying to, uh, well, to sell and to show my art. Um, I think that it's important to create body of work that you can like show in a gallery or in a museum or whatever that they can see like some, yeah, co coherency, I don't know, like progression. Yeah, progression, but also it's like, okay, this is a body of work. Like you can like, it's important for me, it's important to create series, series. So I'm usually I'm and I'm create I'm now I'm creating like two or three body of series at the same time because I'm creating this like a pillows sculpture at the same time that I have my sleep on that collection that I, I know that you know them the the pillows and this uh, pillows uh, case that I uh, embroidery some phrases. Uh, your your privilege, uh, your your privilege, or where where is your sister, or how black your kid will be, like I'm in in they have like different timing, but I'm trying to create like a serious body of work that you can like um, 
recognized as a family. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know if that answered your question. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, what, what sort of advice would you give someone who, who wants to take that next leap? Well, um, I don't know. I, I think that hard work is, is a really, really important key. I mean, you have to be um, ambitious, uh, especially in this city. I think that if you don't have ambition, it's hard to become. I mean, I mean, even if you are like super creative and really, I don't know, like you are a really real artist who everything, everyone can be. It's like, I think that here you, you have to work hard. You have to, 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 I don't know, to do your work, to create networking, to show your art, to create a strong body of art that you can show or it's, it's, it's not easy at all. <laughs> I mean, I'm struggling. I mean, I, because my husband is the one who is working really hard, I can, well, yeah, because I'm taking care of my kid the whole day, so I'm not paying for, for daycare, is that I can like, uh, don't work. I mean, I'm working, taking care of my kid. I'm working as an artist, but I'm I'm not, uh, I don't have a an, an income that allows me to, I don't know, pay rent or whatever. So I think that your family support or friend support and also of course like yeah be ambitious I think that for me it's been like really really important to be I mean I'm gonna be an artist I want to be one I have to work hard and I'm being ambitious I don't wanna stay in my apartment waiting for someone to discover me I'm gonna go and and get it yeah those are very good words. Thank you. Um, one last question. Uh, where can we see your art? You can go to my website. You can check my art and follow me on Instagram. I think that you are going to have fun following me. But also, I'm your neighbor. So if you want to come and see my pieces, just DM me, text me, and I will be happy to show what I have and what I'm creating here. Also, um, I'm showing one big piece in, at Brea, in Brea Gallery in Orange, Orange County, uh, another one in Denver. So I think that is a little bit far away. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I mean, in a couple of months in August, and I'm going to have another show in fall downtown LA. Like I'm, I'm always sh uh, showing so, or trying to show. So I think that. Follow me on Instagram is a good way to know wh what I'm doing, where, I, where, uh, where I'm showing. And of course, if you have the personality, just DM me and come here. <laughs> you are more than welcome. Well, thank you very much. And I want to <laughs> thank everybody for coming today and sharing this experience with us. I want to thank Carmen for her time. Um, and for sharing your artwork with the whole community. And I look forward uh, to see where, where you, um, how your art grows and, and where you lead, like where your path will lead you. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs>